Lisa and a friend of Carol's and she's asked me to share some kid tips to help you as parents or grandparents or neighbors supporting kids during this time while they're at home. Just as our adult lives have been turned upside down as we're keeping our, the strictest distance from family and friends, working from home, maybe no longer having a job, we're all coping in various ways depending on the time and situation. So are our kids. Their capacity for understanding depends on their age and maturational level, their cognitive ability, their social, emotional, and behavioral well-being. I'll share with you some things that I've learned in my 30 years as being an educator, both as a teacher and school counselor. Kids are listening. Don't let them fool you. Their ears are perked up to your conversations when you're talking to others, especially about the things that are affecting you and your family. And that's going on even when you're not in the same room. They listen to the news and they're digesting everything that they hear at their own developmental level, which can result in a range of emotions from everything's okay to fears that their beloved family members will die from this or worse that they themselves will die as my 10 year old grandson shared with me. So listen to and watch your kids. What are they saying to you and their siblings? How are they acting? Are they normal? Are they lethargic? Are they more energetic? Are they argumentative, silly, eating you out of house and home? Maybe they're clingy. Maybe they're isolating themselves. Gently name those feelings and those behaviors that you're observing with your child. Help them understand what's going on and that you are here to help them, not scare them with more virus news. And at their level, talk to your child with honesty and not giving explanations beyond what they're asking for. For example, I might say to a five-year-old, Grandma could get sick from our germs. That's why we're calling her or FaceTiming. To a 10-year-old, I might elaborate a little bit more and add, you know, Grandma has COPD. The coronavirus, coronavirus might hit her harder than I, I got it. And then to that high schooler who thinks that they might know more than you, ask the question first and say, tell me what are you thinking? And then continue the conversation on from there. You can learn from your kids. A middle school neighbor boy shared that he had found this awesome German website that explained the COVID-19. And so he got his parents to watch the, the website with him. And so they're learning together. Help your kids understand that the majority of us will recover if we get the coronavirus. But we are practicing the government's safety guidelines to reduce the chances of contracting the illness by washing our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, using hand sanitizer, staying six feet away from others, limiting our trips to the stores, wearing masks out in public, and if, if you need to, wear gloves if you feel like it. So what else can we do to help our kids at home now that the fun of staying home may be wearing off? Let's talk about the importance of routines and expectations at home. Schools work for most kids because kids know what they have to do every day when they go to school. What are your routines and expectations for homeschool right now? Spring break is over and we have at least another month of school closures. So for those of you who have already put academics into your daily lives, good for you. And if you haven't, it's time to get started. Let your kids help you develop that daily schedule. They know what they need to be doing, even those preschoolers can. And helping, letting them help you allows them some control over things going on in their lives, helping to re uh, reduce that anxiety. So be sure to include your expectations for breakfast, lunch, chores, um, musical instrument practicing, sports practice, as well as adding in the academics, math, reading, science, writing. You need to be sure that you've got gym and uh, music and art time in there, some free time, some online time, time to socialize with their friends via the phone or doing it online. You might want to coordinate with your child's friends' parents so that we're all connecting to each other at the same time. And then the kids realize, hey, we're all doing this together. My family's not any different than anybody else. We're used to communicating with our friends at work. Kids need to communicate with their friends from school. 
Now, there's many online resources to help you with the academic schools are setting up classes and online resources. They're getting packets of worksheets ready for you to do at home. IPR has a link to a, a website for a slew of teaching resources. And if you go to the reference link below or check out your local public radio station, you'll be able to get educational resources there as well. Celebrities are posting YouTube videos reading books to kids. A great and wonderful thing to do. I would encourage you though to be sure that you are spending time reading with your child, listening to them read, asking those who, what, where, when, why, how questions as you're checking for comprehension. All those good reading skills. Take advantage of teaching and learning with your kids during this time. You can write a journal entry as you're doing a writing activity. Share it out with your child. As you do math, your child can give you math problems and then teach you how to solve the problems. Cook and bake together, working on those great reading skills, step-by-step -step directions, measuring using time and nutrition skills. Go outside for walks, identify and draw the birds or the flowers that you see. Create an obstacle course with just household um, objects and teaching your child what cause and effect is all about. Parents, you are your children's first teachers. You got this, you really can do it, it's okay. But don't feel obligated to fill every minute of your children's day because many of our children struggle to use their own imagination to find something to do when they're bored. Limit the video game time so that they have time to sit down and figure out what to do next, how to create a new game of tag with their brother or sister, or play with their toys and their Legos in different ways. Here's an inside tip from my next door neighbor kids. They said, Working as a family is crucial right now. I know many of you are trying to work at home so you can keep the bills paid. Many of you are struggling because you no longer have a job. As I explain this to kids, I say there are grown-up sized problems for adults to solve and there are kid sized problems for kids to solve. Please remember, kids are listening and internalizing what's going on in your home but you are the adult responsible for working on your financial and employment situations and not putting it on your child's shoulders. Now, it may be necessary to have a family meeting and explain that we have to tighten our belts for a while right now, and we can do this by cooking at home instead of ordering out and picking up a food or not downloading that new game app for $5 because you've got more levels to conquer in your games that you have. Your kids may be able to generate some ideas on ways to save money too, but let them handle their kid-sized problems like getting along with you and their brothers and sisters, cleaning their rooms, finishing their homework assignments, um, following the household rules. It's a challenging time, that's for sure, but we can make the most of it, learning some important things that we ought to consider continuing in the future when life returns to a new normal. Spend quality family time together. It really does go by so quickly and your kids will be grown up. Spread that blanket on the kitchen floor and have a picnic lunch when you can't go outside. Eat popcorn during an, an afternoon movie time. Maybe you teach your kids how to play your favorite board game or how to work a puzzle with your strategies. Doing these kinds of things rather than a video game are very, very different. We're teaching how to take turns and waiting, strategizing, problem solving, working together, the real life skills that are learned through play. Take what you can from these tips. Try some out that you might not have thought about for the next few weeks and use what you can. You have time. Take care of yourselves and your kids. Be safe and be healthy.